Hi, Holdfast community. I'm Major Meal from the 21st RNBF. Since I first showed off the 21st uniforms in the Holdfast Discord, many people have come to me to ask about how the uniforms are made. This video is going to be my attempt uh, to walk you guys through it in as easy a manner as possible. Now, there are a few things to note about the methods I'm using. I'm only retexturing the assets the unit provides. So what does this mean for you guys? It means no new, like, you can't move the plumes on the hats, you can't change the way the shoulder pads are. It's about colorization of the British infantry. That's the only model Unity provides, and you'll see that when I go to upload it. I assume anyone watching this video has done the Holdfast SDK setup. It's essential for any of this to make sense. If not, please go to the SDK user's guide uh, to set yourself up. It is in the description, I believe I linked it. Uh, and that will take you to the guide. Once you're done with that, resume the video. Now, the first step is to create an empty mod. Now, we're going to do this in Holdfast SDK Tools up the top, and then Create Empty Mod. Now, you can name this whatever you like. For me, I'm going to name it Hold Fast Sample. But you guys can name it whatever you like. Now, hit Create Mod. It will take a second, and then you'll see it in this folder. With that said and done, we can move on to the next step. The next step of this is actually creating your uniform. Now, we're going to look for a file called British Infantry underscore Diffuse. Now, to find this, it's at the bottom left of Unity under Assets, Holdfast Common, Character, uh, or Holdfast Common, Model Examples, Character Model Reference Example. In this folder, when you click on it, you'll see all of these. Well, not so much because I've made a couple of customs myself. But you're looking for the one that's British Infantry underscore Diffuse. This one I just clicked on here. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to double click that and it brings up this image. Right clicking it, you get the option to open with and then you use a photo editing software of your choice. For me, that's paint.net, which I will also link. So, that should pop up here, and you get a lot of options to edit around. You can draw on it, you can just do whatever you want, etc. Now, obviously, nothing like that, but this is really where the magic is done. It's where you can recolor the uniform, you can stylize the pants, the shirt, the buttons. If you really want to go into detail, you can, like, you know, I can erase out that 23 and write in something else. Like, the 21st uniforms have 21 on the buttons. So, take your time, do this however you please, and resume the video when you're done with that. Right, so, this is awful. Just, don't do this. This is bad. But, the idea is, this is your custom uniform. Now, I've recolorized everything to be orange and black, because I'm an abomination. Now, for you, assuming you made a half-decent uniform, what you're going to want to do is save this as something that isn't British Infantry Diffuse. To do this, we're going to go File, Save As, and it should take you directly to the folder where you pulled British Infantry Diffuse from. Now, you don't want to overwrite Diffuse. What you want to do is rename it to something else. So for me, we're going to name this British Example with two E's because I'm special and save it as a PNG file so it shows up in this folder with the rest of the images. When you hit save, you confirm, this is paint.net, save, and you should be free to close out this tab. Now, if you do it right, you should see your folder uh, show up in the list. Step two of this process is actually putting a character in Unity. Like previously stated, this model can only be the British Line Infantry, so this may change in the future. To do this, you're going to want to go Assets, Holdfast Common, Model Examples, Character Model Reference Example. This should be the same folder where your PNG was saved. What we're looking for is the cube with the piece of paper named Example Character. To put this in Unity, you click it and you drag... Sorry? You click once and drag onto the Unity display, this area over here. You should see a T-Post British Infantry, and when you let go of him, you will see in the hierarchy, that's the list on the far top left, example character. Double-clicking on him will bring you up to see him. 
The next step in this process is actually selecting which uniform you'll use. In the same folder where you got example character, you should see the blue orb with the name British Infantry Uniform. Clicking on it, you'll see a lot of information up here on the side. The information we're looking for is specifically this, the albedo, which is the texture it is using. Clicking on it, you'll see a lot of stuff. Now, the one in particular that you're looking for is the one you just made. For me, that is British example. When I click on it, you double click, and it overwrites it to have the uniform you just designed. With all this done, step four is your actual pre-setup. This can be done by going to the top, hold fast SDK tools, clicking it, going to character uniform importer, and clicking the button pre-setup. Now it's gonna prompt you with a lot of information. The target mod should be the mod you just created. For me, that's hold fast example. For you, it's whatever name you chose. The root object is asking, what are you modding? So your answer to this is example character, and you can select it by clicking example character in the hierarchy and dragging it from there over this space that says none. Letting go, you'll see it fills in with example character. For faction and player class, this can be anything. It can be whatever you want to be, but for me, we're going to do British and then Army Line Infantry. But you can see this uh, particular model could be anything. HP bar sprite, spawn menu sprite, and grayed out sprite are not essential. However, uh, for the sake of neatness, you will want to go back and do them when you get the chance. Finally, the regiment. You need to specify which regiment this model is for. Now, this model I'm making doesn't actually have a regiment. This is just to show you guys. So for me, I'm going to call this test. But for you, uh, you should have it named respectively with the regiment you're creating. Finally, once all that's done, hit OK. It'll prompt you with file setup. Please double check the objects. You just ignore this. This is unimportant. You click OK. Once that's done, you go back up to Holdfast SDK Tools, click it, character uniform creation, and then do setup object. It'll prompt you with this. You ignore it, hit OK. The next step in this process is going to Holdfast SDK Tools character uniform importer, and doing save object, the third one on the list. Doing this will take a brief second, but once you're done with that, please double check everything is saved correctly. Hit OK, go down to the folder where you were creating your mod. For me, that was hold fast example. You can see in this folder, you have custom uniform definition, a couple heads, and then a uniform. This will differ slightly depending on which unit you made. Say if it was like French cursor, it would say like head French cursor instead of British Army Line Infantry. But that's about it. The next step is back up the Holdfast SDK tools. You're going to want to build your mod. This is essential if you want to upload the Steam Workshop. Click it and it will take a while. So you can see already this is popping up, it's loading, and it's just gonna be taking its time. So I'll just skip to the end. Once it's complete, you should see this pop up. This shows holdfastexample.png, holdfastexample.umod. This name will be different depending on what you named the mod folder. Now you can just close that out, but knowing that you have that, you can now go to Holdfast SDK Tools and upload the Steam Workshop. This will take a while to load, but when it does, you'll see this icon. You're going to want to click Upload the Workshop, and it should auto-fill in the mod you just created. Holdfast example. You can, enter, you can change the name, enter a description, and if you click Open the Mod folder, it brings you back to that. You can edit this PNG to change the mod's uh, header. So this image is what people see on the Steam Workshop. With that said, that's pretty much it. You just hit upload and it should work. As for server implementation, uh, the guide is actually pretty clear on how to do that. So hopefully you guys found that guide helpful. I think modding really needs to be a bigger part of the Holdfast community, especially regimental community, because each regiment having their own flair 
is going to make line battles so much more lively. With that said, uh, happy modding. <laughs>